Today we're going to make a small loaf of French bread with just a few simple ingredients. It's easy to make and perfect for sandwiches, brown toast, or simply with butter and jam. Hi, I'm Joni from OneDishKitchen.com, your number one source for single serving recipes. Now this is a basic French bread recipe. The dough comes together easily and can be made in a bowl or a stand mixer. We're gonna show you both ways and we're going to share a lot of great tips at the end of the video. So let me show you how to make it. First, I'm gonna show you how to make the bread in a stand mixer. Add 10 ounces of all-purpose flour, which is about two and a quarter cups. You can also use bread flour. Now add one teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of honey, a half of a tablespoon of olive oil, and six fluid ounces of warm water to the stand's mixer's bowl. Sprinkle a half of a teaspoon of active dry yeast over the surface of the water and allow it to dissolve. Using a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, mix on medium speed until the dough comes together. Remove the paddle attachment and replace it with a dough hook and continue mixing until the dough becomes smooth and elastic, which takes about 10 minutes. Remove the mixing bowl from the machine and cover it. Allow the dough to rise to about twice its size, which takes about an hour. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and knead it four to five times to expel the excess gas and to redistribute the yeast. Cover with a dish towel and let the dough rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Shape the dough into a boule, which is a round ball, an oval, or stretch the dough into a rectangle roughly six by three inches to form a baguette. If making a baguette, seal the ends by pinching down on the heel of your hand. Place the dough on a baking sheet and cover with a dish towel and allow to rise for about an hour. When you're ready to bake the bread, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the tip of a sharp knife, make one large slash across the top of the bread loaf. Brush with one tablespoon of olive oil and sprinkle a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt over the top. When the oven is ready, bake for 18 to 20 minutes slice and enjoy. So just a reminder, we're sharing a few expert tips at the end of the video. Now let's make the French bread by hand using a mixing bowl and hand kneading. First, we're going to add 10 ounces of all-purpose flour, which is about two and a quarter cups. You can also use bread flour. Now add one teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of honey, a half of a tablespoon of olive oil, and six fluid ounces of warm water to a large mixing bowl. Sprinkle a half of a teaspoon of active dry yeast over the surface of the water and allow it to dissolve. Using a large spoon, mix the ingredients together. After mixing the ingredients, transfer the shaggy dough to a lightly floured counter or large cutting board and shape it into a ball. Start each stroke by gently pushing the dough away from you with the heel of your hand. Lift the edge of the dough that's farthest away from you and fold the dough in half towards you. Lightly sprinkle the dough with flour as needed if the dough becomes too sticky. Continue folding and pressing the dough and after about three minutes, the dough should begin to look smooth. As you continue to fold and press the dough, it will become more smooth and elastic. This entire process should take 15 to 20 minutes. Place the dough into a large bowl and cover it. Allow the dough to rise to about twice its size, which takes about an hour. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and knead it four to five times to expel the excess gas and to redistribute the yeast. Cover with a dish towel and let the dough rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Shape the dough into a boule, which is a round ball, an oval, or stretch the dough into a rectangle roughly six by three inches to form a baguette. If making a baguette, seal the ends by pinching down with the heel of your hand. Place the dough on a baking sheet and cover with a dish towel and allow it to rise for about an hour. When ready to bake the bread, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the tip of a sharp knife, make one large slash across the top of the bread loaf. Brush with one tablespoon of olive oil and sprinkle a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt over the top. When the oven is ready, bake for 18 to 20 minutes. Slice and enjoy. 
Here are a few expert tips. This French bread recipe calls for using active dry yeast. However, if you have instant yeast, you can use that instead. The two yeasts can be used interchangeably in recipes. The difference between the two is that active dry yeast needs to be dissolved in warm water before using, while instant yeast can be mixed in with the other ingredients. If your dough is too sticky and sticks to your work surface and your fingers, you'll need to add a little more flour. As you begin to knead the dough, make sure your hands and the work surface is lightly coated with flour. If the dough is still too sticky, add a little flour to the dough, one tablespoon at a time. This will get rid of the stickiness and be sure to knead only until the dough is smooth and elastic. If the dough doesn't rise, it's likely that the yeast wasn't active. If you're using active dry yeast, maybe the water you used wasn't warm enough. Also, dough won't rise if the room you're using is too cold. I often put the dough in my oven to rise. To do this, first preheat your oven for one minute. Turn it off. Then place the bowl of dough inside. Make sure the oven doesn't get too hot or you'll need to wait for it to cool off. In order for this French bread recipe to turn out correctly, it's important that the flour is measured out accurately. In fact, this is important for all baked goods. Whenever a reader asks me why something doesn't turn out right, whether it's my mini pound cake recipe or my oatmeal cookies recipe, the first question I ask is how did you measure the flour? Weighing ingredients is by far the most accurate way to measure flour, but it isn't a common practice here in the U.S. A digital scale is useful for measuring and weighing flour as well as sugar. If you don't have a scale, you can still measure flour accurately. Here's what you do. Use a spoon to stir the flour inside the container. You want to loosen it up in case it's packed tightly inside. Use a spoon to scoop the flour into a dry measuring cup. Use the flat end of a knife to level the flour across the measuring cup. And that's it. For this mini French bread recipe, 10 ounces of flour is two and a quarter cups, or 285 grams, measured the way I described. Be sure to check out these great videos and click below to like and subscribe. And please visit OneDishKitchen.com where we have hundreds of single serving recipes. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.